what's up you guys, After Show Reacts here, and today I'm going to be reacting to some more Arrow. This is Season 1, Episode 13, and it's called Betrayal. I'm really, really, really enjoying this show so far, and I hope you guys are enjoying it with me. So, let's just get into it. Hey, it's John. It's Linda's dad. <laughs> All is forgiven. Gives a hope. Come on. He's gonna kill you. You know, Isn't I can use a place to stay while I'm getting my sea legs back under me, George. And you got a nice place here. What do you say? George. George. Yeah. Well, that's right. I know George has been food shopping. They're on the island of Lost. <laughs> Twitch, now I'll open your throat. How many more with you? What? Another day. You have ten seconds to tell me something I believe before I cut out your voice box. Just wait, wait, wait. You yell, yell face at me here, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't so you could kill me. What? He took down an arsonist and armed car thieves, and just last week, he busted the vertical drug ring when we couldn't. Or was urban legends becoming heroic? If this man's They're hero, starting to trust him. I don't him. know what my life in this city as a cop means. Let me suggest you find meaning in following orders. Frank, listen. I'm close. If my lead comes to something more, come to me with something real, Quentin, and we'll talk. I want to talk to you about Walter. Right around Christmas, when he... disappeared. He gave me this. your father's notebook he kept a list of all the people in starling city who owed him favors i had no idea there were so many of them i just been researching some of those names online and uh, why you gotta lie for people this list is filled with bad people and walter was looking into it and now he's Sorry, right, he's got another copy. The only way to keep this family safe is for everyone in it to stop asking questions. He's gonna keep asking questions. Ranch is connected to human trafficking, drug running, racketeering, and at least 52 different homicides. Okay, so what's the play? Because unless 53 now. To some private police force, Shh, Ranch will stay free to the streets. You're someone I have to call. I'll see you later. You don't find that a little cool. convenient for just so happening to have burned the book? She did it out of concern for my safety, Diggle. Or her own. Oliver, you said it yourself. Whoever compiled that list is involved in something very dangerous. And if your mother... He's being very naive. You, and she didn't know any of the names on the list. She said she didn't. You don't have to take her word for it. Oliver, if this were anybody else, you'd be hooded up right now on your way to have an aeroside chat with him. This it's isn't true. anybody else. This is my mother, and I know her. You don't... Hold on to the phone, I'll call. Laurel needs my help. Oliver, are you running to help her? Or away from the truth about your mother? I have always to tell. He's so naive about his mom. <laughs> if she's meeting with the hood, there's gonna be a task force there when she does. Be respected. You find the biggest guy to put him down permanent. I think I just found the biggest guy. You think you can take Ollie down? <laughs> Hello? It's me. I have something. Can you meet? Uh, yeah, where? Rooftop, Winnick Building. Good work, Ellen. Okay, everybody. Rubber bullets. This is my daughter here. She cannot come to any harm. I said stay away from this lunatic. She didn't. You don't think that turns a knife in my back? I hope she sees it that way. Mmm, put those puppy dog eyes away. Something's come up at work. That can't wait until tomorrow? It'll only be an hour. We can meet you at the club. Thank you for offering to fill in, Mr. Dick. 
My pleasure, Mrs. Queen. Believe me. At least he has a clear. Are you sure my son won't miss you? Clear I'm mind sure about it. And you believed him. It's been my experience when your son wants some alone time. There's not much I can do to stop him. You were. <laughs> Mr. Dickel. Mrs. Queen, I was just uh, looking for the restroom. <laughs> Awkward. Excuse me, ladies. Happy birthday. Evidence he's trying to take over the positions vacated by Frank Bertinelli and I'm gonna try it. What's wrong? I'm not alone. What? SCPD! Get out! Hands where we can see him! Dad! Do it now! You so much as leave a bruise on her and I swear I will drag you down to hell myself. Why? Oh, sorry. Why did he use her? What are you doing? Daddy Lance, what are you doing? What a waste this whole task force was. I don't know what's worse. The fact that you lied to me or nearly got me killed. You were completely safe. I was on a rooftop with an army of men pointing their guns in my face. Well, you shouldn't have been on that roof in the first no. place. You wanted me on that roof. Wasn't that the whole point of your little trap? I'm trying to catch a killer. You manipulated me. Manipulated? You practically ran to this guy. I told you. I said, stay away from him, and you did you not. That's before you gave me the phone. What? That's before you realized that you could use me as bait. Yeah, you, you gave it back to her. You wouldn't listen to me. You are so blinded by your hate for him that you don't realize the damage that it's doing in your own life. That's enough, Laurel. Yeah, you're damn right it is. Mm-hmm, girlfriend. You tell him. The phone. Give me the phone. No. You're spying on her? She's doing my due diligence, Oliver. See if she meets with anyone we might be interested in. She's not a suspect. She's my mother. Which is exactly why someone needs to take a close, objective look at her. He's right. Oliver, something's going on. You're not seeing straight. You know it. That doesn't mean she's involved. Your dad was. Why wouldn't your mum be? Leave it. He used me as bait. Who? My father. He was trying to catch the vigilante. He eavesdropped on my phone conversation with him and then lied in wait with his jackboots. This is tonight? Yes. While you were working. Awkward. Work. So you met up with the hood guy? Knowingly? Uh, he's contacted me before. He helped me with the Declan case and Joanna's arson investigation. The Declan case was months ago. I know, Tommy. I, I've been wanting to tell you. Laurel, he's a murderer. You sound like my father. She's lying to you? That doesn't sound like Laurel. Lying, keeping secrets about who she spent the time with. Does that remind you of anybody we know? Me and every relationship that I've been in. Me too, except this one. There's some sort of infatuation thing going on here. I, I think Yalfe sent you because he knows I cannot take the airstrip alone. Sounds like Yalfe. He is a softer judge. Who of is this guy? If you're going to have my back, I need to know you can cover it. <laughs> what are you doing? Fight back. <laughs> Keep your blade up. Always stay behind your sword. So this is where he learns to fight. You have no skill. Please call me back. I think we should talk. I was just leaving you a message. Come on, Laurel. Self defense. You go, go. I love a girl who can take care of. 
care of herself. Okay. Why didn't you fight no. him? A taser. Carl Ballard will not be a problem anymore. Given your propensity for squeamishness, I'm assuming that Mr. Ballard remains in good health. I made it clear to him persuasively that his plans endanger the undertaking. I didn't have to make the usual Undertaking. Threat. Excellent. I already told you I knew Robert's yacht was sabotaged. And I don't think it serves for anyone to find evidence of that. What the hell are you doing? That was very, um, explainy. <laughs> <laughs> I work for Mrs. Queen. And I work security for the man she's meeting with. Guess that means we're on the same team. I don't think so. Yeah, she's been, uh... Laurel? Taken. I wonder if he's gonna contact, uh, Ollie now. What are I they mean, doing? The green arrow. CSI's, uh, I, I don't know, can they track this or, or trace it or something? How did he know about Lowell? What? How does this guy know Lowell is connected to the, to the hood? No idea. I, I only found out Someone's about a leak. last night. She, she, she said you knew. Well, just Someone that. at the police station is a leak. has got Laurel. You, you've got to call in posse or something. I, I don't know, SWAT teams. I can't. And now he's gonna... Oh, this is nice. Why is his voice distorted? Sorry, man. That was sabotage. You have three seconds before I have this line permanently disconnected. Miss Lowell. As if they're not tracking this right now. Listen to what this is. He's gonna kill my daughter. Please believe me. Did you just break your own hand? Same people. There isn't anybody else I can trust. Vance is holed up in a mansion. It's a heavily fortified position. I was there. I can't take it by myself. I need your help. Well, lucky you've got a little coupling aside right now. <laughs> He's going up against trained men with their fingers on the trigger. Of guns that fire up to 600 rounds per minute. Now, I'm no Einstein. That I means nothing. A lot of bullets. The army of sons of bitches I've got waiting for him. You know, I haven't heard a whole lot of bullets. <laughs> 24 is the exact number of arrows he carries in his quiver and flechettes around his forearm. <laughs> Who's the That's not here? all he can do, though. Ventilate him. Plus, he's got him. My God. But what I can't do right now is trust you. I was just doing my job. I, th I thought you'd understand at least that. I thought I do understand. But lying to me? Using me? It's gonna take longer. I get it. So what's our next step? Turning you into something that won't get us both killed. Choose a weapon. We're starting now. 
Best time to stop. That's mine. You're the same person. You are the lunatic who tortured me. No, that was another guy. Bull! This mask? It's my operational equivalent to a balaclava. My partner and I wore them to keep our identities classified during our missions. You're lying. I need to know what the undertaking is. Me too. I want to know. Please find out. The hell's an undertaking? What are you going to do? What a weird word. I need to have another chat with my mom. Ooh, this turn is the arrow. Moira Queen, you have failed this city. Well, I, uh, that was our season one, episode uh, 13. Yes, 13. Uh, it's called Betrayal. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. I certainly did. I'm very, very keen to see uh, what's going on. Maybe maybe she'll tell Green Arrow what she's been doing next episode. Probably not. We're not going to get answers until the end of the season. But I'm really excited. I can't wait to start the next episode. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. Uh, reaction and I will see you in the next episode.